Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Thompson. Well, I thank you. I thank the, the gentleman for yielding. Mr. Speaker, I rise tonight during this special order to speak in opposition to H.R. 3755, the Women's Health Protection Act, misappropriately named, given the many unborn girls, women, and boys that will be murdered should this act be enacted. Earlier this year, I spoke on the floor defending the Hyde Amendment as, as Democrats for the first time in over four decades decided to remove it from the fiscal year 2022 appropriations. Tonight, I'm back to fight for the rights of the unborn as Democrats attempt to push through another item in, of their radical pro-abortion agenda. This legislation is extreme. It would impose nationwide, quote, abortion on demand until birth end quote laws, making every state a late-term abortion state. This bill would create a national standard to allow for abortions for any reason at any stage of pregnancy. It would abolish virtually all past, present, and future pro-life state laws, ultimately overriding state laws that prevent discriminatory abortions based on the identity of the baby, of the yet-to-be-born child, on the uh, basis on baby's sex, race, or disability. Now, we should be putting forth legislation supporting a culture that values life and respects the health of mothers and children, born and unborn. And we must always be a voice for the voiceless, and that's why I will continue to fight for the lives of the unborn. I want to thank the gentleman for leading this special orders. It's a righteous cause, and I yield back the balance of my time. Grateful for your leadership, my 